Well, Spike Jones, who directed Her, is the maverick filmmaker who started out as a skateboarder and cult music video director before making the leap into big budget films such as Bing John Malkovich and Adaptation. Joins me now uh, from Los Angeles. We're delighted to have you on the programme, uh, Spike. Thanks very much indeed. Just talk us through this idea in Her of falling in love with your software. Um, <clears throat> well, did you see, have you seen the movie, Emily? I have, but I'm not, I'm, I'm not allowed yeah. to tell people the end. <laughs> Yeah. Um, no, I'm just curious what, uh, what, your, what your reaction to the movie or what, what you felt when you were watching it, because the, the lead-in was all about falling in love with software, which actually the movie really isn't about. It's, it's more of a love story and a relationship story. But I was just wondering what you felt when you were watching it. Well, I was curious as to whether the man has found his ideal woman uh, who just works for him as his PA. Um, yeah, well, I mean, is that, is that what, as the, as the movie goes on, she, I mean, she certainly starts out as his assistant, but I think as she becomes a person is when the relationship actually becomes real, when she has her own wants and needs and insecurities and, uh, you know, her own desires that are separate from what he wants, and that's where, obviously, the, uh, the you know, the, the conflict in any relationship is, how to how to have your own needs and be able to fulfill your partner's needs as much as you can. But uh, is that, so I don't was know, the, did, you, did you watch it more from that point of view, but, Emily, or did you feel I guess it I, emotionally at all? Was the, was the computing, the, the computer, the software side important for you? Because this is an idea that's been sort of rumbling for 10 years or so with you. And I wondered whether, I don't know, you worried that technology would no, overtake I, you. No, the movie is really not about technology or software, and I, that's why I'm trying to feel. I'm trying to understand how you felt it when you watched the movie, because the movie. I mean, most people find it an emotional movie, but uh, the way you're describing it sounds actually more of a. Yeah, because to me, it's not a movie about technology and society. It's not a commentary on that. That's that's the setting. That's the setting that we live in right now, which is, um, you know. It, 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 at this moment in time, there's this, a particular set of circumstances that prevents us or that we can use to, to avoid intimacy. But really, the movie's about, you know, finding intimacy with, with, with somebody else outside of yourself. And um, both for him, for Joaquin's character, and for Scarlett's character, who's just a voice, um, it's, it's them trying to connect. And, the cha and I think the challenge of trying to connect when mm. you know and, and longing to connect when you know when the you know and, and the need for intimacy yet the things inside of ourselves that prevent us from intimacy um but what are you emily did you what, really you were not moved by this movie our audience want to hear from you not me but did would you see it as no a... i want to hear from you emily <laughs> later would you hear were it you, as were a... you a, did... would you call it a emily? futurist movie emily would... don't avoid this question <laughs> Do you think of it as being Were a movie that's... Were you moved by it at all? I was moved by it, yeah. Would you, set it, would you see it as a set in the future? <laughs> it sets in the slight future, but the future is more of a heightened version of our world, um, just where everything is, you know, sort of comfortable or convenient and nice, but there's still this longing or loneliness and need for connection and... Uh, but um, tell me what moved you, Emily. Well, one thing I thought was a, a, a kind of curious was that the technology is not very obvious. It's not in your face. And I wondered if that was deliberate. It seems to recede into the background so that the, the characters come out more. Is, was that sort of deliberate? Yeah, that is deliberate. That's, that's exactly what I, I was saying, that the movie, to me, that is the setting for this love story. And yet you filmed it in the Pudong, right? In a very sort of scientifically, you know, advanced part of the world in China. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we filmed a movie set in Los Angeles, but we used Los Angeles collage together with areas of Shanghai to create a future Los Angeles. And, um, but I don't know, <laughs> it's not necessarily scientific. It's just, uh, you know, it's an area, it's a city that has a lot of new construction. Therefore, it worked as a newly developed Los Angeles. Well, it's great to hear from you, um, Spike. Probably more from you than from me.